Which one's better, Shake Sauce 1 or Shake Sauce 2? Today we'll be discussing both plugins that add a lot of energy and intensity to all your clips. Shake Sauce 2 just released. Although it has a lot of cool features, Shake Sauce 1 should not be counted out on. I've been using Shake Sauce 1 over the past year for pretty much almost all my projects. I love Shake Sauce 1 and I still consider it to be one of the best plugins inside of After Effects till this day. Shake Sauce 2 is also fire though. In this video, we're going to be diving into the pros and the cons of each plugin and which one you guys should get today. Stick to the end of the video and you'll see which one I prefer myself. With that being said, if you guys new to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. Come be a part of the Sacred Takes team. Hit that like button. It's free support, guys. It's going to motivate me to keep pushing out more content for you guys. With that being said, let's hop straight into it. As you guys can see, we're inside After Effects. I'm going to go ahead and put them side by side so we could go ahead and judge them fairly. First topic we're going to go over is the UI. They both have a very clean look to it, but if I had to choose which one looks the cleanest on the homepage of each UI, I would have to go with Shake Sauce 1. Since the plugin is called Shake Sauce, I just find it so cool how Brian Delamato was able to get a bottle. I just find it so cool how Brian Delamato was able to create a bottle looking shake. Another thing that I also enjoy about the look of the Shake Sauce 1 in the UI is that on the preview, it shows someone editing the room with a Shake Sauce bottle on the monitor. And I think it's fire how it has a little cartoon picture of someone editing with the Shake Sauce bottle. So that's another reason why I like Shake Sauce 1 UI better than Shake Sauce 2. Now, second we're going to hop into is the presets of each shake sauce so we're going to scroll down we're going to press on all and right here on the right side it's going to show all the presets that come inside of shake sauce one in a total it's 21 presets as you guys can see i'm gonna hover over them it shows exactly what they are in each preset which is fire i'm not going to go over all of them but yeah it comes with 21 presets now for shake sauce 2 if we go ahead and press on constant it will show all the presets that we have for constant what that pretty much means is it's going to play on the clip automatically the whole time now for presets on shake sauce 2 for the constant we have about 10 so shake sauce 1 we do have a little bit more options to work with but if we go ahead and press our keyframe we also have another 10 transitions which pretty much keyframe is transitions constant is more of an effect where if we go to keyframe on shake sauce 1 it comes with 12 keyframe transitions while in shake sauce 2 it comes with 10 automatically but one of the main differences from Shake Sauce 1 and Shake Sauce 2 is that Shake Sauce 2, you could actually customize your own preset. So if you wanted to make your own preset, you would go into custom and then you would press on this add button right here. And then from here, you could customize your own preset. As you guys can see, I just messed with these settings right here and it's already on top of the clip. That's something obviously crazy. I'm just showing you guys how you could literally customize your own preset. You go ahead, press separate dimensions. And this is when you could really get into the nitty gritty of things. Let's boost this up a little bit. Let's boost this up. Let's boost that. As you guys can see, we have a little shake right there. You could also go to, you could also go to rotation and scale. You could scale your clip up, and you could go ahead and keyframe right here on the side. If you want to save your preset, you go right here. You go ahead and name it. Let's name it Shake. Go ahead, and press Save, and we'll go to Presets. We we'll go down, and if we press on Custom right here, it, boom. There's a preset that we saved, and you guys can literally customize. I'm gonna delete it because I don't need it. But yeah, you guys could literally customize your own preset inside here, which is fire. Shake Sauce 1, you're not allowed to do that. So I'm going to have to give Shake Sauce 2 a point for that. For Shake Sauce 1, if we want to add an effect on this one, we'll press on the clip. We'll go to All, and we're, we could choose one of these presets. I'm going to double click on X Shake Intense. Double click. And it automatically adds to the clip. As you guys can see, the clip is shaking. And if you guys want to change the settings to the shake, you will go over here to the left side, and you can automatically mess with the settings. Let's bring that up a little bit. Let's bring these settings up. As you guys can see, it adds to the clip looking crazy, but but this is how you could customize the settings on these shakes right here on the left side. Let's go ahead and delete these effects from the clips. So for us to delete it, we're gonna have to select on all of them. Go ahead, press delete. And as you guys can see, it was a little bit of work to delete everything. Now for Shake Sauce 2, for Shake Sauce 2, let me show you guys something interesting. To add the shake, it's the same thing. You'll double click on it and it will automatically add to the clip. Now, if you want to delete this effect from the clip, it's a little bit easier from the other one. All you have to do is press here and delete. But another cool feature about Shake Sauce 2 is you don't have to delete it right here. If you want to delete the effect, go ahead and press in this trash bin and then boom, automatically deletes for you, which is very fire and it's way more convenient. Let's say we want to add a transition on Shake Sauce 1. We'll go to keyframe. We'll go to the point where we want to add the transition. Let's say we want to add it right there. Let's add a hard hit with a flash. We double click, we play it back. You guys can see the transition is added. It was pretty easy to add. And let's say we want to delete it. Like before, we're going to select all of them with the control button, press delete. And if you play it back, if we play it back, you guys can see the transition is still there, which is kind of annoying. For you guys to actually delete the transition, you got to go ahead and press on this ghost layer and go ahead and delete that top layer and also this layer as well and this one. So if we play it back, 
now it's gone. Which is kind of annoying how we have to do all that to delete the transition. Now let's go to Shake Sauce 2 on keyframe. Let's add the stomp transition, double click, automatically adds, play it back, play it back. There's the transition, which is fire. For this one, you don't have to go to the Go Slave to delete it. All you have to do is press on this trash bin and it automatically deletes. So that's something else that's interesting about Shake Sauce 2. It's more convenient to delete things. Another special feature that Shake Sauce 2 has, but Shake Sauce 1 doesn't have. Let me go ahead and show you guys. Let's add this transition and stop again. Double click. Let's go on this pencil tool right here. That's gonna open up the custom settings on that stomp transition. As you guys can see right here, the keyframe is already automatically easy ease. Let's press U on our keyboard so we can see exactly what we're doing so I can show you guys. Let's zoom in on this timeline a little bit so you can see exactly what we're doing. Let's say right here I wanna add another keyframe. I'll go ahead and put this frequency up. Press on add keyframe. As you guys can see, the keyframe is added right here. Let's say I want to easy ease that keyframe. If I go ahead and press Alt on the keyframe, it automatically does it for me. And if I were to do this in Shake Sauce 1, I would have to highlight the keyframe, right click, go to Keyframe Assistant, Easy Ease, or press F9, which is a lot of work. So I like how Shake Sauce 2 has this special effect. If we press Alt on the keyframe, it automatically easy ease our keyframes, which is very far. And for the last comparison that we're gonna do is the pricing. For Shake Sauce 1, it's a one-time fee of $77 and you have it for lifetime. And for Shake Sauce 2, it's a subscription fee. If you decide to choose the annual plan, which means that you pay the whole year up front, you will pay about 200 up front, which is about $17 a month. But let's say you wanna choose the monthly plan subscription, you would have to pay 27 a month to keep Shake Sauce 2 activated. Considering you only have to pay a one-time fee of $77 for Shake Sauce 1, I know a lot of people would rather do that instead of doing the subscription fee. But the cool thing about Shake Sauce 2 is, if you refer three of your friends to use your link to sign up and download Shake Sauce 2, you will get Shake Sauce 2 for free for lifetime as well. Once you purchase Shake Sauce 2, you'll get a separate email with a referral link, and all you have to do is send that to three of your friends, and if they sign up with your link and download Shake Sauce 2, you won't have to pay a single dime. So in reality, you could get Shake Sauce 2 for only $17 for the first month if you could refer three friends in that month. Regardless, going over the differences between Shake Sauce 1 and Shake Sauce 2, I will have to choose Shake Sauce 2 being the better plugin. It's a big upgrade from Shake Sauce 1 in my opinion. Even though it doesn't have as much built-in presets as Shake Sauce 1, Shake Sauce 2 allows you to customize your own presets, and you can also export those presets and send them over to your friends, and they can import it inside their After Effects, which is very cool. If you guys think about it, you could have an unlimited amount of presets in Shake Sauce 2, while Shake Sauce 1, you only have those 21. With that being said, I'm going to link down below Shake Sauce 1 and 2. The link will be in my description if you guys want to go ahead and buy those plugins it's an affiliate link guys so if you guys support me you guys support my channel go ahead and buy the plugins with my links below i'll gladly appreciate it and it's going to motivate me to continue push out content like this like i said before if you guys do end up getting shake sauce 2 and you refer three of your friends you will end up getting shake sauce 2 for free for lifetime and also there's a seven day free trial for shake sauce 2 so if you guys don't like it you can cancel it anytime it's 100 risk free with that being said Hit the subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel. I'm dropping tutorials every single week, bangers every week. You don't want to miss out. Hit that like button, free support. It'll really help my channel grow, guys, and help push my video out to other content creators as well. With that being said, catch you guys next tutorial. Peace.